I am back in the car. It is blue lie day 24. I have some returns to do. I think I'm gonna do that. I know in my blue lie 23, I talked about not doing it today. I'm gonna just do it today, cause why the heck not? So I've gotta go to Home Goods. I have to go to Home Furniture and return that leather sample. I think I showed you guys a couple vlogs back. I need to return that because uh, they charged me $25 for it, which is fine. But um, I need to return it so then I get my $25 back. So I've gotta go to Home Furniture, Home Goods, return that rug. It just didn't work for the space. And then also I have a Bed Bath & Beyond like online return. I have the packing slip in the box back there. So hopefully that'll be okay. But um, if I go up to Riverdale, which is in Coon Rapids, um, which is where Home Furniture is, by the way, um, I think I have everything over there that I need like a Home Goods and Bed Bath & Beyond, I think is over there too. So I'm gonna head that way. I don't carry a purse, so I'm probably not gonna like take you inside, but um, who knows? I might end up with something because that's such, that is just my life and I can't ever leave Home Goods without buying something. Actually, that's not true. I have walked away from Home Goods without something, so that's good I guess but I haven't been to this home goods in quite a while so there might be some more good stuff you know home goods get it good stuff yeah anyway all right well I am gonna get going and I will check in with you guys in just a little bit ha ha I am home the doggo is drinking his life away just took him on a walk and do you guys see do you see weird things yeah I went to home goods told you guys I couldn't leave without buying something, right? So, let me turn you around, I'll show you what I got. Okay, so here's what I got. I got this, it's like, I don't know, like it's like a, it feels like cement or something, and it says utensils on it, so I thought that was really cute, kinda goes with my design aesthetic. Also, I got this thing, because every house needs a cactus, right? It's hard to see. But, and it's got like little white flowers on it. It was on clearance for $29, originally $39.99. But it had the right color pot and I think with that, I'm gonna put it up here because I've got like all this space up there. But I don't know, I'm gonna put it up there but I don't know what I'm gonna like, I'll mess with it a little bit. But I don't know, I thought it was cute. Um, also, I did Instagram while I was there and someone spied this. They're like, ooh, you got more pillows that match. Kind of, it has the same pillows, or they didn't have the exact same pillows, which is kind of why I went there. I mean, I had to do a return anyways, but these are lumbar pillows. So they're like rectangular versus square, which is like pretty much perfect. And they match these pillows right over here that I just got. So I'm kind of jazzed up about it. I'm excited. And I also got two just regular standard pillows for the upstairs for the guest room because I needed more just like regular pillows. So um, because I have a guest coming this weekend and I wanna make sure that they can put their face on something, you know what I mean? So anyway, um, I'm really excited about these, like really excited. And I don't know, I, I really like the things I got. Obviously I like the things I got or else I wouldn't have bought them, like, duh, Emily. But I'm kind of pumped about them. So I'm gonna change out my utensil thing. I would show you with the utensils in them. However, I did just recently film a home haul, which is like a kitchen haul, and some of the utensils are in that haul. So I don't wanna show it yet because, you know, Gotta keep you guys guessing so you can come back and watch more of my weird videos, right? Right. So, and if you're interested, let's see, this is what it says on it. If you're interested, take a screen grab and that is what it is. And then there's that as well. And then the pillows are exactly the same as the last ones except for their lumbar, but here is the information if you wanna screen grab that. Go right ahead. But anyway, I'm gonna start putting some of this stuff away and um, putting these in the permanent file because the last thing I need are more bags in my life. But yeah, I'm gonna make some food here and hang out for a little while and I need to do some other things tonight. 
but I'm glad I got all my returns done because I was kind of dreading doing that and you know I just had to go to a different city and just, I just had to do them Ugh. anyway but I'm glad I ventured out when I did because I don't know if I would have found all these things you know we never know there he comes hi Doyle oh no no oh it's creeping in the other room all right well I'll check in with you guys in just a little bit so I have finally made my dinner selection for the evening are you guys ready are you ready Uncrustables! I swear I'm not sponsored by Uncrustables. They're just so good. And when I don't know what I want to eat, I just eat this. Makes my life easier. I already had an apple, so that was good. But I'm getting a little hungry, you know, for something. So, Uncrustables, that's where it's at. I still haven't put up my little cactus friend here. And don't worry, it's plastic. It's plastic, it's okay. It's okay guys, it's plastic. But yeah, I'm pumped about this. I need to put it up, up there somewhere. Yeah, I should do that. I should do that and then eat my Uncrustables. Yes, let's do that. Ta-da, Cactus Friend is up. If you look really, really closely on the bottom left, the tag is still on it. You know why? Because I want to make sure that I actually like it. So let me back up and I'll show you. Kitchen's kind of a mess, but whatever. Ta-da! Um, obviously, it's probably not gonna stay like right there, but I just figured, just throw it in the center of the cabinets. Why the heck not? It's cute though, right? I need like more weird stuff for the top. But I'm not into like the ivy or the vines or anything, so I just want like random stuff up there. And like the taller the better, cause I have these like big old ceilings. What do you think, Doyle? What do you think? Hmm? He doesn't know what to make of it. Oh well. I'm gonna eat my Uncrustables now. You can't have any, Doyle. Sorry. So a few hours have passed. I have had my delicious Uncrustables. So good. It was so good. I just listened to um, the Jen and Julian podcast. I subscribed to them on YouTube, so they have like you know, like a visual show, but then also if you have like iTunes or something, you can download it there, which I do that as well. But obviously I don't watch a lot of TV, so yeah. But I'm just hanging out and there's a little pupper. Hi buddy, what are you doing? He's been acting like really strange today. We got back from our walk and he was just like whining and complaining and like he pooped and peed like a very normal amount, so I don't know. I don't know, he was just kind of like walking around like Aah. So, oh, he seems fine now. It's like his natural state of just lumpiness. Oh, one of you had asked on my Instagram what I was gonna do with my new pillows that look like that. And I think I'm just going to <laughs> like put them like on this little brown basket, I think. Um, for now because I don't have a sofa yet. I mean I have this but this is like all the pillows are over there And if for some reason, I mean, I don't think I will ever want to take them back because they're like Freaking amazing and I love them um, And I would actually like maybe use these on my bed. Maybe I don't know. I just I love them I think they're so pretty but I think I'm gonna put them um, in the living room for right now, but just, you know, stacked on that basket because I don't know. I have nothing, nowhere else to put them, you know? Ugh, let me move some stuff and then I'll show you what I do. Here they are. That's what they are. My little electrical box is over there now. So that's what it's going to look like for right now. Um, like I said, I haven't gotten a sofa yet. Even though I went to the sofa store today, but I didn't see anything I liked. I test drove a couple of sofas while I was there at the furniture store. I don't know. I just didn't like it. Plus, like, to give my honest opinion on the furniture shopping experience at that one place, which I won't go back to, the original sales gal that didn't help me this time because nobody helped me, which I much prefer because I've worked in retail for a long time. And, um, I'm not in retail any longer, but it's... It's a tough business, like 
don't get me wrong. But I would rather like ask for help than someone telling me what I want, you know? Like, you don't know me, get away from me. Um, <laughs> I know that's kind of harsh, but I worked in retail for such a long time and I just, I would rather not be helped. And I know that's kind of like, might be rude to say, but it's the truth. But when I originally came in to look at sofas, like when I was originally looking at that leather sofa and then to buy the bed for upstairs that I bought um, and then was just delivered this past weekend or on Friday or whatever, the woman was like trying to ring me up for the sofa and I'm like, um, I'm taking the leather swatch home and it was like $25 to take it home. And she's like, oh, don't you want to order it and take advantage of the sale? I'm like, no, I mean, I don't make like $2,000 decisions just because, no. I don't know, that just really put me off. And then also like, it took me no time to like pick out the mattress and like, you know, the box spring and like all that stuff that I wanted for the bed. And it took so long to check out. Like she had such problems with the computers. Like I was kind of trying to make small talk with her cause I understand like POS systems, like the point of sale are sometimes really difficult to navigate depending on like, you know, what company you're at or whatever. I was making small talk with her and I'm like, so how long have you worked here? And turns out she's worked there for many, many years. And I'm like, wait, shouldn't you have this like down you know what i mean but anyway and then i came in today and the um like reception guy was there and i'm like hey just need to return the sample um you know i i'm not gonna end up going with this sofa like i completely changed my mind on this and he's like okay sounds good he's like well let me you know get this returned for you and then i'll get the money back on your card i'm like okay sounds great so I stood there for no joke like over 15 minutes like just trying to return a leather swatch i had all my documentation i had all of my receipts even from my mattress sale and it's like why is this so hard well i don't know i don't know why it was so difficult but then i like walked around for a little while and um I don't know, there's just like people walking around looking for commission. It just like rubs me the wrong way. And I understand like that's just their livelihood and I'm probably like going off on a tangent I don't need to go off on, but like if I'm gonna buy something, I'm gonna buy something and that's fine, but you don't need to like talk me into anything. And I was just kind of like walking around the showroom floor, like on the main floor was like where all their sofas and stuff were. And um, I just, I mean, I didn't end up I don't know, there was maybe like one or two that were like kind of okay. But you know, as soon as someone would be like, oh, are you finding everything okay? I'm like, yep, I don't need any help, thanks so. <laughs> like walk away. Cause I'm like, I don't wanna like sit on something and like try to be like comfortable, you know? Cause it was kind of the middle of the day. It was like right after work. So it was like 3.45. So, you know, I'm sure you get like lots of people coming in like after five or like couples coming in and like buying a sofa or like families coming in and buying stuff for their home. But it was a little bit earlier and um, everyone looked really bored and you know, saw me and they're like dollar signs in their eyes. Like, hi, like no, go away. <laughs> um, but yeah, I didn't see any like fabric sofas that I was like, Ooh, I really like this, you know? So I think I'm gonna go to a couple of their furniture stores in the next couple of months or something. I'm not like on a big crusade to find a specific sofa. I would love to buy them online, but just like, I don't know about like the firmness of the seat in the back, you know? Like sometimes you sit in these sofas and you're like, oh my gosh, it's so hard. And other times you like sink in and you're like, wow, that's like way too soft, you know? So it's just so difficult to, I don't know, get that figured out. And sorry about the focusing. I don't know what is going on with my camera, but. <sighs> Excuse me for me to go to bed and someone keeps texting me. So I better like, oh my gosh, I'm right here texting phone. So I better jet here. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed Blue Lie Day 24 and Blue Lie Day 23, even though it was filmed early this morning while I was getting ready. So it was kind of my, it was my makeup vlog for yesterday because I just, I was not in the mood to vlog. I only have a little while left. I only have, I have exactly one week now, one week left. So I've got one more Monday because the 31st is Monday. Crazy, right? Oh, also, okay. I have seen 
a ton of people posting laundry Q&A questions, which I appreciate, but I cannot go back on every single video since the last laundry day Q&A and do a laundry Q&A, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna figure something out. Um, I'm gonna announce it in tomorrow's video of like, if you have laundry day Q&A questions, to post them somewhere. It's probably not gonna be on YouTube. It'll probably be on Instagram or Facebook, just to like be clear. Um, and obviously I can't answer everybody's questions, but um, I think I'll end up doing something on one of those platforms, just to like, I can go to one post and I can look at it because I had a major issue with it um, last Friday when I did my laundry day Q&A, because I had to go to like, three different videos and like some people were just asking just general questions and then other people had like laundry day q a's so it took me so long to like scroll through all the comments and uh anyway so i'm gonna have that announcement tomorrow for the laundry day q a of where to put the questions okay and i'm sorry if you don't have instagram and i'm sorry if you don't have facebook but it's going to be on one of those platforms those are free platforms feel free to sign up for facebook or instagram you can make everything private, so I don't even know who you are, um, but you can always just follow me, because I'm public. Oh, my nose is itching. All right, well, I am gonna head out and answer my text messages <laughs> and get ready for bed here, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.